I mean, if we look at how Immortals used to play on Mirage on the CT side where they're starting, um, when they had Zeus, they were they always had they always had uh, like when they lost the, when they lost the pistol, they always had crappy uh, first buy rounds. They always had Mag Seven towards B. They just had loads of issues, and I think the Mag Seven usage has gone down dramatically. I think they are more than capable of doing this. I don't think it's going to be easy should Phase take it over the line. So I'm fairly 50-50. Well, we're about to see how well these teams are going to start this game off with, because in round one in the pistol, we're about to see chaos. We have all of phase on, like, about to rush pit. And we've got three players, the crossfire setup. This crossfire setup has done so much damage before, with Henny as the bonus on a greater distance there by the stack. Henny is the what? The bonus. Bonus man. Lucas, I wonder if that position is usual for him or if he was watching the matches earlier. Either way, he's going to be flash. But now again, this the bait and switch. But no, Alu flying in to the headshot there. Bolts has work to do, but he can't do too much. Man advantage for FaZe. Bomb should be going down. Is it an open plant? I think it might be the inverse plant as well. AZ picks off in the meantime. No, it's the default plant. Alu on default. Kishima of the crossfire. He's going to be very important for Alu. Who's going to have the right angle though? Kishima running past now. He can be the bait, but can Alu find a frag? Kishima will do it. Steel alone now. Not sure if his position has been detected. There's the one versus one. Got good position with those boxes to stop Kishima from trading. Kishima coming in for that reload now. Steel will do the same. No kit onto Steel. He needs to find his frag fast. Not sure if he would expect Kishima up high. The pre fight coming in though. There's the kit and he might just have time. It's going to be a close one. Five seconds. They're shouting already, but will he find the defuse? Okay, that's yes! Good. That's good. Because remember, do you remember last time actually at E League, James? There was that moment where. Uh, Henny actually got the last kill and he started like celebrating and then the defuse, there was no time. How can I forget? That's one of the most glorious moments of the year. It, 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 that was hilarious. Yeah, Moses, not only one with uh, pie on his face this year because that was very embarrassing indeed. Immortals clutch the pistol run. Very close stuff, but they get off to a good start. And again, I, I, I almost wanted FaZe to win a pistol just so I could see what Immortals' buy round would be like. Um, starting off with a Mag 7, but this is, it's fine here. We don't want to see it later on. But for now, it might just do. Still wielding the shotgun towards the bomb site. But FaZe showing their presence towards mid. Yeah, it's looking Ooh. good though for Immortal so far. Despite the dink onto Henny, I mean he can just kind of cycle his way back into a into a more pass position, allow his other teammates to to take uh, take the lead. Bolts, is he going to be in trouble? Carrigan's going to get up there. P250 is a strong pistol at that range, and he's going to toss away the fa uh, Famas to Ali, who's got a lot of health. Well, he's got full health actually, but no one has Kevlar, which is really problematic, I think, for Phase. Yeah, because they got the bomb plant down. I mean, that's, that's really good. So oh, ho, ho. man, little warning. That was painful. I'm sorry. I was very excited at that grenade. <laughs> anyway, at least I got the FAMAS, and it's all about damage in this round for FaZe. Even one kill would be huge for them in this uh, situation. Immortals forced to go two per site now with less than a minute on the clock. Henny in that sandwich position, and it will be Lucas being the bait at range with the M4, the silenced M4. Phase using the clock, but uh, they may want to get the bomb down. Now they've got the numbers over here starting to emerge slowly but surely. But again, no Kevlar, they will be paper thin, and that paper will be torn in half by mortals. 2 0 start for them. Phase though, they get the buy, they get the AKs, and that means that the immortals will have some disadvantages actually because they're going to be on a UMP, Mag 7. Bolts get what is Bolts going to get? He, he must have something, James. He spent... Uh, he is, did, that, is that a P2000? Okay, there, okay, we, go. there we go. There we go. I, thought, <laughs> I thought so. I was like, there's got to be an M4 somewhere. So, all right. Ooh. Ooh, FaZe. Are they just going to go straight in? Are they going in? Looks like they are. Three players in Palace. How much distraction can AZ run with his honest Tech 9? He is causing bedlam. There's still one more, more person to find. He's got a close range advantage at the moment with that Tech, with that tech 9. Oh. Phelps just jumping all over the place. Had no idea where he was. Bolts cleans that out. In the meantime, A has been taken well and truly by face. That is amazing. <laughs> they just walk into the site because of all the chaos. And they've got four players left. There are native Immortals, which can help massively on retakes like this, but still. It's going to take quite a heroic effort and the angles they do not have. Rain has the best angle ever there on bolts. And now it's three versus two. Are they still wanting to go for this? I don't think they, that they are at this point. You just, what can you do? Too much time has gone off the bomb. 
despite both players having kits and nades, this is just not going to happen. And they realize that. They're going to keep the weapons into the next round. FaZe, obviously, they got a little bit lucky in middle. But uh, I, I do love that they just ran with three players out of Palace immediately. I really like that. It's a lovely flash from AZ. I don't know if, if I would call it lucky. I mean, they had a certain strat. Part of it was just entertaining the CTs in the middle area with AZ as a sacrificial lamb running in there with a the tech nine. The flash off the wall was great. And then uh, oh, Anarchy from there. I think it could have gone worse for Immortals in that situation. Phelps had no idea what was going on until Bots saved his bacon. Full AKs now for the T side. Immortals have a buy for this round as well. Not playing close though on the ramp. Phelps over towards short. Kishima looking for an entry towards B. Sees a jumping steal. You see him backing off just in case of any grenades coming in. Steal almost. You can see him cycling through his grenades with his mouse. Um, I like having a separate button for each grenade. I think that's a window smoke. Hashtag observers. That's awesome. It's that, failed. That's a bad miss. That's some, a bad miss. I wasn't sure because some smokes land on the boost position. But that one went beyond. Nice angle from Phelps. Fro Death from above. <coughs> Death served up to Kiyoshima. AZ will pass on that dish, though. Let's see if he can get something back for his team. Because FaZe has been very, very, very slow in this round. Just walking, and they haven't got that much out of it. They've got AZ by connected, but that's basically all they've accomplished. Okay, frag in from AZ, and now the action begins. He's behind the smokes as well. They can move up connector towards jungle while the rest of the players clear out Lucas and Bolts. Difficulty continues for Immortals. Not the best of starts for the CT side. And <clears throat> they are heading towards eco territory, so it may be a while before we see them mount some kind of comeback. But again, if they, if they can hold on to these weapons, then perhaps they can go for a forward play, try and get an early advantage in the next round. So just saving all over the place. Uh, FaZe has been very successful in getting their entries to get onto bomb sites so far. That's going to feel amazing for them. If you consider that the uh, obviously went down uh, two rounds immediately in this one by losing a very, very marginal pistol round, so it's a good spot to find yourself in. And uh, the other thing is that they've everything they've tried really has worked with these, these rifles. And now the momentum will start to go into their favor. As we can see, there's not really much money on Immortals, but they do have the two saved rifles, and you never know what uh, that can do if you put them in the right places. But it's always interesting with FaZe to see who's on form, because typically AZ's been you know, recently the most consistent performer, I would say, which is which is great, because he's, he's such a talented individual, and we have seen spots in the past where maybe his role hasn't favored him, and he's maybe he's not been comfortable, but now we're seeing better performances from him consistently. Right then, let's see what Immortals can do with these M4s. Still headed towards the B bomb site, as is Phelps. We don't often see uh, the the fast boost to have a look at the balcony position uh, here over towards B. Mostly when someone has an AWP. But anyway, indeed we see that aggression. Position MSL likes to play on the CT side. So Immortals are taking this, but what do they do with it? Stuck behind the smoke, they will rotate those two weapons. Smart stuff. Can they be effective, though? It's going to be tough. Phase with a good mid hold at the moment. Do have two players in the B apartments as well, so going for the B split, which is uh, a great piss, uh, a great anti eco rounds. Phelps, oh, we might find himself in a very favorable situation. Yes, he does. Phelps goes down. But the problem is, players like Henny, Bolts, and Lucas, they don't have much firepower, but still, Henny gets a dink in there, softens up Carrigan, but can still get it in there in time. Phelps has picked up a, a M4. Well, we've got guns picked up all over the place. Oh my god, actually still able to get the kill onto Rain as well as he plants the bomb. This is a problem. It's all going to be on Alu and Kiyoshima now. Alu, sandwich, out of position, taken down. Now it's Kiyoshima, and he is deep into the apps, and there are defuse kit on two of these three players, Bolts. Covering the angle while still comes in for the defuse. Immortals are back to winning ways, back in the lead. Three players surviving for them's a plus. Great work by Steel here. Rain unable to respond, having planted the bomb. And then Alu, there's a player on short. There's, a, there's two players in the sight. So again, he was sandwiched. He did get, a, I think he did get a kill earlier on, but uh, 
he was in too poor a position, Kishima unable to help. It's really rare that you see so much work done in a round when you've only got two guys on weapons. It's very rare that you see a round one like that. So impressive indeed. However, FaZe have generated some money, so they got a good buy. Kerrigan tagged it through the smoker as he crosses. I think Phelps may have, may have even spotted him there. Oh, Henny is on the smoke. Oh no, he falls out the window. Oh dear, Kishima was there, ready and waiting. And that's Henny gone straight away. That's the Orpa lost. It's the Orpa lost as well, though uh, FaZe do have one on Alu anyway, so it's not a big deal. But, but yeah. Immortals, Immortals will be somewhat used to this though. They know Henny can take high risk peaks when he wants to, and sometimes that means he'll go down early. However, there goes Lucas as well. Still a minute on top, on top, on uh, sorry, over a minute for Phase to mess around with here. So now there are huge problems for Immortals. The more players they lose, the more risks they have to take to get back into this game. Bolts some jump spotting. He'll go down as well. And now this round is pretty much shut out. A reset to the lost bonus of Immortals. Another situation where they have to save. And Rain's still on the A bomb site. So this will not be easy. And in some respects, I think uh, for me, these two teams have some similarities on a map like this because I feel like this uh, stylistically against FaZe, you want to definitely be testing the slower pace play because FaZe are t aren't as good as a team like Dignitas at actually capitalizing in the most effective way from mid control. Mid control is quite complex and quite hard to coordinate around and to use all your grenades uh, correctly on. And I think that's a place where FaZe struggle a little bit, developing out of that initial mid control. But I feel like Immortals are exactly the same way uh, on their T side. And so, and <laughs> but neither team wants, is going to want to play slow. They're both going to want to fight. And so in that sense, stylistically, neither team's really taking advantage. They're just playing into each other's styles, which, is, which might make this a very close match, actually. Guns for both sides. Phelps on the AWP. It makes me wonder if he's... Well, he's going towards the B bomb site, so I do wonder if that boost I was coming, talking about is coming in. Indeed, it is that fast boost, but they failed it. That is much faster than getting on the box, but he's failed to jump as well. So that timing has been completely ruined, unfortunately, for the CT side. Oh, Carrigan looks right at the wrong time, gets a headshot regardless. Early starts. Can he avoid getting traded? Yes, he can. Bolts down as well. This round may be a shutout already. Lucas, though, with the one deke. With a deagle, there is hope. Hope has been found. Two players dead immediately there with the deagle. They are going to want to try to do this now. Oh my god, Fels finds himself an angle with the AWP. That's AZ dead. The bomb it, the bomb needs to be collected here by one of the phase players, especially whilst the smoke is still up. But perhaps they can't they don't feel confident to cross. All the smokes are dropping. And that's going to be a very uncomfortable place to be with the bomb very shortly. Oh, that's such an important frag there from Kiyoshima. Hope has now been found for phase. But can they close this? Ali's got a tough job of covering Kishima from the angle he's holding. Not ideal, to say the least, with the AWP. So many places to look. Both CTs more or less coming in from the same place from the connected jungle position. Ali with a nice angle there. Continuation spray from Kishima. Now he is the distraction. He is the bait. Phelps, if he goes high or low, Alu should be in a very good position. But now he's pulled his AWP away. He no longer has the scope. They know the round is won. They will back off from the explosion. Phelps may collect the AWP. Got to be careful of Kishima, though. He will manage to survive for now, but it goes back and forth. Phase the ones with the consecutive rounds at the moment. That's a lovely shot, though. They, they made this winnable, which is insane. This is, this is the shot that really made things complicated, because you can see they went for a short plant, just didn't think about the possibility of an AWP being on short, which you can't really blame them too, too much for. And almost lose the round. If not for Kiyoshima's really good entry frag on CT spawn, they will lose that round, I think. Kind of crazy. Phase in the lead. The AWP still in play. Phelps will continue with it. Probably because he's in match with armor. And that AWP has come and gone. With that angle, with, with the smoke down, you can just stay in the middle, close to the wall, and try and pick off players who peaked. But there we go. Not, not today, for Immortals. Not on this round. At the very least, Henny has recovered the AWP. Lovely shot down to Carrigan, but he needs to save this for the rounds to come. That said, okay, no, it's fine. The bomb's in apartments. Misread that for a second. I thought it was on shorts. That would have been interesting, but it's not. 
it's not interesting at all. What's interesting is if Henny can hold on to this AWP, trying to move towards Ramp or Palace. Will phase Hunt. They uh, they have some money, and it would be of more value to them probably to uh, take this AWP away, but there's a big map to search with their existing positions. The interesting thing is that they they are consistently, almost every single round, getting the bomb, do bomb down. They're finding great success in getting bombs planted, which is always a good sign. Obviously, two of the rounds were won by defuses as well for Immortals, that they're uh, two round victories after the pistol. So, it, yeah, it's, it's it's quite impressive to see FaZe in this way against Immortals. We're getting into interesting territory now because, ooh, the flick comes in nice. Can he hold on to it? Is there any challenge? There's one play, Kyushima's, he's creeping. Oh, that's important. That is an important frag. If you keep an op on the field, you never know, especially if it's in the hands of Henny. But it will be removed forcefully. Great stuff from Kiyoshima. But uh, but yeah, FaZe could really start to begin to, this is a position where you can begin to develop quite a lead. So you can see a timeout comes in from Immortals to try to assess the situation and to see how they are going to like or perhaps change things against FaZe and maybe just to calm down a little bit. Maybe there's, there's uh, you know, just get everybody on the same page. Immortals with the timeout. That's pretty much what my hair would look like if I let it grow, by the way. Really? Yeah. You'll never see it, though. You'll never see it. Never. What about the Even mustache? if I only have a spoon, I'll still shave my head. What? what about a, a, a mustache? No. You need you need a a spoon, really. What? I, I just at all costs, I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Two round lead for Phase at present. Lucas reduced to the UMP. Will we see some aggressive plays from Immortals? I haven't seen too many uh, rounds where they've been close to a ramp SK style. Although. I feel like that play that SK like to do kind of fell out of fashion when they put it on YouTube and everybody knew what to expect when they spotted that first player. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's not how they wanted to start this round. Oh man, Karagrin takes down Lucas by Pitt at the same time. Poor Henny, stuck on the bottom side alone. Although in comes Steel from the back, so he will provide a little bit of relief. From the back. But Henny is, he's really Suspect of this, uh, this push, like where is the push at? Rain spotting steel through the smoke. And now it's the four versus two. Cops, oh, they're just losing all their one on ones pretty much. Round over before, this round was over before it began. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, F Faye, I mean, Kiyoshima is notorious. Uh, it's Carrigan on this occasion, but it's Kiyoshima who is notorious for, uh, sorry, not Carrigan, it's AZ. But Kiyoshima is the one who, for Faye, is always just rushing through mid into connector in all of 10 seconds. Immortals not prepared, not ready for that at all. Yeah, I, I love the fast connector timing from the T's. It's one of my favorite rounds. If you're like playing, you know, pug style or something, it's, it's a quite a fun round because you can often catch the CTs out of position, uh, especially if they've given up a bit of mid control early in the round, which some teams tend to do. They go connector instead. You get a pop flash in there, and there are severe problems for the CTs as you rush in so close. Now we're going to see phase going back to a round we've seen before from them which is just a straight up hit onto the A bomb site. I'm not sure if this is, is exactly the same in every situation or, or rather in every facet of it, but the end result is more or less the same. Me teenage onto Kishima. He's carrying the bomb as well. Doesn't want to drop that on a high ground. It will fall to the low. Rain there to trade. Bolts on the stairs as well. And there he goes. Two pistolers remaining for Immortals. No chance of a flank. AZ top mid at present with Phelps trying to CPL. There he goes, Phelps. Still, oh, he's wow. going from bad to worse. Just standing there, mining his, he was minding his own business, Dan. He was minding his own business, he wasn't bothering anyone. It is a and then there's Crimson on the floor, on the floor and the wall. Yeah. It is Sudoku book out. I'm a Sudoku fan. I have never played Sudoku. You should. Actually, I think I played it once. But this is not of interest to it's the, great. the stream. Phase with a four round lead, better equipped than Immortals. War grenades, both with orbs though. Henny or Hen1, he's happy with either. Headed towards the A site, could have a spawn to peak the ramp, and indeed he will do exactly that. Got a timing with the smoke going down as well. Now we move to connect our AZ, maybe emerging through the smoke very soon. Indeed he is, the jump, Henny sees him though. Takes his leg, but he can't take anything else. His head will be claimed, but Bolts is there to trade. Nice work in the pub, but still going in there with the M4, success is found. Great success. Now Rain in a one versus four. 
We've all seen it before from him, though. So let's see what he's got for us. He's got a lot of time. The bomb is lost, though, in apartments. But that's, it's not the most horrendous position of all time if he's able to clear out a couple players and force some rotations. And he's looking for some of the players who could really be on the, the flank here, playing sort of rotation positions, because he knows that they have the bomb. So it's more likely that he would suspect that a player would be playing kind of more the retake positions, but instead Lucas was playing quite deep. And they had the players to do that, so smart positioning there from Immortals. But this is really where things went terribly wrong. Great, that flashbang was perfect. It was exquisite. It was, it was divine, Dan. It was a divine flashbang. Good news, though. Both teams are back on the bye, which means there is more carnage to come. Immortals trading by three on their CT side. Can they catch up some more? Can they get some consecutive rounds on the board? Beyond the pistol, they've won one round and then lost. You see FaZe, they're the, they, they are the ones who've been racking up the rounds and having momentum in their favor. Immortals with a two-man push in the underpass position. But again, no frags. That might give the position away, though. Kishima clearly not expecting it. Taken down for free by Phelps. Yeah, that's going to force action here from the rest of FaZe. They really need to get... They, they've lost a, some positioning. They've lost some information. They've lost... A guy as well, a man. Now they need to get something back. But what will they, they go for? They're just holding at the moment. And allowing Immortals to sit with three on in the A bomb sites. They will try to isolate the player that is on the shallow position. That's Steel. Will Rain look? There it goes. Good entry frag from Rain. Finds a second player, but Henny is now the problem. Are there smokes to disable him with that AWP for the time being? Got flashbangs as well. So it looks like they'll be clear from Henny f just for now but it looks like a hard job for them to cross still. Phelps just waiting by toll booth, suggesting that no one is in CT. The default plant comes in, Hen1 getting taken down towards connector. No one is facing this plant, the retake may be in. Alu, false sense of security, Phelps takes him down. Now he can run distraction while two men come in from connector. Carrigan with a lot to do, not much help to do it with. Lucas will take him down. Three players surviving for Immortals, AWP collected as well. And there is that consecutive round they so desperately needed. Seemed like a big gamble there from Alu, actually. It seemed at no point that he suspected, even though there was three players left, that anybody could possibly be a CT. So yeah, quite quite the gamble. Didn't pay off for him in this instance. And if he had actually managed to find his way into CT, it's going to be very hard for Immortals to win the round. But there's so much money on phase. They did a great job racking up the cash in the uh, consecutive rounds that they were able to win which was five. They were on five in a row. They've lost two in a row now, interestingly, but they are doing a good job at getting into the bomb sites, which is one of the, the main things. Timeout called by FaZe. They have tons of money. One player had about 10K. The buy has come in for the most part. Ali on the AWP as expected. Now we're seeing lots of buy rounds between the two teams, but it's not looking easy for either side, despite the leads that FaZe managed to get. That lead is slowly dwindling. He's still up there with 12 kills. That was a huge multi-frag earlier on towards B. Let's see if they can have some more success. Henny with a very one of the best spawns towards the window, so he will be facing off immediately. Face starting with the smoke. Oh, they're going to boost as well. This allows him to, if he just stands on those bricks, he'd have an angle to anybody moving in towards the uh, towards the connector position. Very uh, weird angle for the T's to deal with, but he's going to go towards short for the time being. Faze very passive. Alu trying to get the pick on B apps, as he so often does. And Faze are waiting for something here. There's obviously killing time. They're killing grenades away from Immortals, who's, you know, as we see, just there's an incendiary, one more incendiary gone. Some smoke, and they force out some more smokes. And Faze aren't really committing to playing picks too much. So it almost seems as if they're just trying to, at this point, remove some of the utility. But now we have four players for FaZe, readying the grenades by B apps. Oh dear, the CT's in mid is, okay. They've got the set up there, that's fine. Everything's fine. Carrigan, we'll see how he chooses to play. You should hear Phelps on a rotation, but Phelps, there's a chance that he could go for the peak. Oh, here we go, Carrigan's making lots of noise now, and uh, Phelps can warn Henny, but now we've got the flashbangs coming in for both sides. He's gonna get the frags. There's Hen1 with the first one. Phelps taken down, and Hen1 has to back off, taking AZ with him though. Man advantage for Immortals. The bomb is in connector, should be spotted on a radar. What do FaZe do with this? Yeah, spotting the fake and then running into the stack bomb site. Tough stuff here for FaZe to deal with. And Alu, who's helped is, is very far away, and it looks like Ali's got the read now that 
B is clean, and so there is maybe... Is there actually time? I don't know that... They, it was going to be so close. It's going to be so close. He needs three and a half seconds to plant the bomb. Oh, oh, wow, and he missed a shot. There might be a chance. Alu catches Henny on the cross. There's a chance now for FaZe. Misses the second shot, though. Kishima very low, but there's still nowhere he is. Still just waiting for his teammate to rotate. It will be a long one. Lucas making his way towards short. Kishima walking into the crosshairs. And now Alu is once again sandwiched. But this time it's a Brazilian one. Lucas taking him down from the back. And they continue to claw the round back, Immortals, making it to number six. Lovely shot there from Henny. I think he legged Kishima through the window as well uh, when he made his way towards the bomb site. And he was swiftly finished off. He will take a lead into the second half. Only two rounds remaining. Bye for FaZe Clan once again. So Immortals with a great recovery. That is three in a row now for them. It, was, it looked like it was getting out of hand, but they have brought it back into their hands. Up on both sides. Here, Ali will pick one up. See how FaZe decides to develop this round. It almost feels like they're going already with a much faster pace. And he with uh, the same boost and into the vents, into the laddering position as we saw previously. And then you can obviously capitalize on that gap, which is often there with a the short smoke. It's a safer way for him to get into the ladder room as well. Uh, if they have a good enough spawn. Whereas if you go late through short, then you could be in trouble. So the round slows down, but there's a minute 24 phase to play with. They expect Henny towards short once again. Nice angle to play as an Orpa, as you're often smoked off. Ooh, the tag! Henny knew nothing about that. Yeah, you can see that Henny was much closer to the corner. And that allowed Alu to see a bit more of him than Henny could see. And now they go in with the follow-up from the nade. The entry frag from Kiyoshima. Lucas and Boz have to get a defense rolling in. And it is rolling in at the moment. Two frags going their way. The trades are not coming easily here for FaZe. And now Steel has had plenty of time to get himself into a position where, despite being one versus two, he can win the round. Catches Rain, trying to make his way across with a bomb. And now it's AZ falling to the hands of Steel and his M4. The one versus two clutch, so important. Steel delivers. That is a crazy recovery from Immortals. <laughs> thought, they, I th thought they were losing their nerve with the um, bolts in shadow, but putting out a Molotov in this situation. I don't know that that's the time to be throwing mollies. Couldn't help his teammate either. So, uh, I mean, that just makes the, the, the clutch even bigger for Steel in that situation. Last round of the first half, seven to seven. Both teams back on the bye once again, but Utility has well and truly depleted here for FaZe. Yeah, once again, some initial nades in middle. Just trying to get presence there, but with, as mentioned, so few grenades, they are pretty much forced to play a faster round because they're in it. almost all of their grenades have now been used just to get into middle. So you, you really need to, you know, you get something out of that then. Rain going for an entry attempt up pit, but he goes down. There's four players basically on eight for Immortals. That is nuts. And there's a push in apps as well, the apps. So right now, Immortals know everything. They still need more kills, however. FaZe Clan close in connector. That could go either way. Ladder room position might be a strong one, but uh, still in low tunnel now. This is all falling apart for FaZe. Two versus five, no kills yet for the international side. Kojima, nice peek again, but uh, no cigar. None for Carrigan either. Immortals with a wow. one round lead going into the second half. They actually won the half, James. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? That is crazy to think that they actually won the half. Well, good defense there from Henny. And it's funny because already you see from Immortals, they, they were expecting, I think, the very fast, that super fast uh, connector rush round because the setup here was absolutely, you know, tuned to deal with that. It wasn't that round, but it's still, the, you know, still phase we saw that heavy A approach. And because phase don't tend to, like, boost in window when they take mid, they don't tend to, you know, do stuff like that as Dignitas do so much. It's easier, I think, for Immortals in that sense to deal with. Now we have AZ versus Steel. AZ weighs a beast. One of the most consistent players on phase. 12 kills at the moment, but Steel has been the man on the B and the A site, really holding things down for Immortals. And he's been so important for them to get those eight rounds on the board. We'll see if it continues as Immortals move towards the T side. Henny and Steel, the utility men.
Carrigan with a defuse kit and a smoke grenade. Yes, Steel has been really good, really, really good for uh, Immortals, I think. Out of a lot of players they could have picked up, we've seen great stuff out of Steel uh, since Zeus uh, has actually left the team. The winner of this match advances to Le Major, or the Major, depending on if you're you know, in Quebec or Atlanta. Probably the major. Apparently, this is the hip hop capital. Then, uh, really? Uh, yeah, that's what I've been I didn't told. know that. Really? I had a, I had a, a gangster Uber driver, someone gangster. Someone knocked on his window and said, "Your fog lamps." When he's like, "Don't touch my car," <laughs> he was mad angry. Then he ignored his GPS for like 15 lefts as he drove me a very long route to uh, where I needed to go. Anyway, the unpause is in. Immortals, can they extend their lead, or will Phase Clan charge back to a tied score? Four Kevlar's for Phase. Henny and Steel again, grenades. We see a P250 onto Steel as well. Again, for those of you who don't know, the P250 in a pistol round has almost double the one-shot range of a Glock, so that can make the difference between life and death. It's a really big deal. Very often you're going to find you get, you're, you're getting those uh, long-range Glock headshots, but they will not be fatal. AZ is looking for information up middle now. What will he spot? Will Bots reveal himself? Ooh, there's a pixel. AZ saw a moving pixel in the distance. That is, of course, ahead. And he's going to find that pixel and press mouse one. Looking good for AZ so far. Still in a good position to do more damage. Another pick off for him. Phelps now makes his way through connector. The bomb is going up hit, but they are losing every man. Yeah, these uh, USP headshots are all too real. Still emerging through the smoke. Trying to avoid a double pick, not required. Kiyoshima with three kills. AZ, such patient execution of players in mid as well. Lovely stuff from Faye. He's got this one shot, just clean. That is clean. Kiyoshima doing great work as well. Phase Clan off to a good start. Both CT teams have won their pistol rounds now. The question is how Immortals are going to play that first uh, big buy round, because this round is a bit, bit of a nothing round, or that's what you'd usually expect. That's what you'd hope. Oh, sorry, uh, the the fourth round even, not the uh, the third round of the second half. But yeah, usually this round, you know, it's not going to amount to too, too much, especially no nades, unless FaZe play really brazenly. So again, you can see with no nades, you're looking for picks with the Deagles. The Deagles are there to give you the picks. The Tech Nines are there to give you the ability to move and across and across space quickly whilst being able to shoot somewhat accurately still. So there is actually a lot of potential for this buy, but they have to get that opener first. Oh, steal this, this, I don't know, this is not going too easily for him. He's gonna have to back away. Minute on the clock. Bolts has made his way deep in towards Palace. No kill for him though. Rain tagged, but not fragged. Alu is vulnerable. There we go. We saw similar kills in the first half. We've seen them again here. They've got position now. They've got some position, Immortals, but there's still two players on the A site with a crossfire between CT and Shadow. And that may be hard for Immortals to deal with. They'll need to run that numbers game, but uh, they need to run that timing game even better. 35 seconds for them to try and get the bomb down. Yeah, time is starting to run thin. It does feel like this is doable, though, for Immortals. They're about to burst onto the site from three different positions. AZ there, you can't miss three shots here. Nice cover of his teammate Rain, who's very, very low. He's on 4 HP, but the problem for Rain is he's got an MP9 as well. What are you going to do with that? Well, it looks like he's going to sit on the bomb and allow his teammates to do the rest. AZ with a 3k. AZ, as highlighted, ever the uh, consistent man for the FaZe clan. We're seeing it here as well as he rockets himself to the scoreboard. And now Immortals are going to have to save, full save more or less. Henny is saving money for an AWP in the buy round. But this should be this should be a good round here for FaZe to make some monies. Make some cash, make some bank, make some green. Another words. Alu of the MP9, playing close on A. And he may be fed. He may be fed. Will he go deep, though? If he does, then he's he might be in for a... Quintuple peak, the close range, that flashbang, very fast indeed, he's completely blind, Rain needs to hold down his sight, there's no need for him to give up the bomb plant, or is there rifles to be collected now? The Molotov, will it be too fast? No, the bomb's getting planted for triple, so the bomb will go down. Oh man, AZ's not having any of this, he's angry. Q 
Kishima's heavily tanked, though. They've got to be careful. There we go. Karagun with the flank will put an end to this damage to these shenanigans. 10 to 8 for FaZe. Yeah, that was a nice flash to get Alu. I thought I thought there would be a banquet. I thought Ali was going to have a banquet, James. I thought he was going to get all five kills, the MP9, and then and he would be able to buy an orb immediately. Would have been, uh, which he probably can anyway, but, box. but still. Yeah, good, uh, good recovery. But Immortals got so much out of that. If you consider that they did basically much better on that round than they did in the round where they actually force bought. That is quite fun for them. And, it, and uh, the extra $800 from the bomb plant is going to give them all these nades. They've got full nades now because of that. And he's got a reasonable spawn. Will he go for the immediate peak? Going for the connector play first. Teammate with him if a bait is required. We see Ali on the low ground and Phelps will get picked off ah. like a scab. And he will pick another scab straight back though. That's disgusting. Still looking for a kill towards the bomb site. Force forward from the flame straight into the spray of Carrigan. That is uh, Smarts from the Danish in-game leader. Mortals left with three, bomb top mid, that needs to be collected. Minute 20 though, there's still potential, but it won't be easy. Potential, just one word, just one way to put it. Immortals need to find it though. They've got some positioning, which will help them realize the potential. Bomb should surely make its way across. But if AC actually peaks at the right timing and kills any as he's moving, Oh, man, that was an important shot. If Henny lost the bomb there, that would have been massive. Now it's a three on three, 50 seconds to go. As the push comes in, will they check for Rain? Rain, he's going to hear them. He's not going to be looking to his left, but he still gets the frag onto Lucas. Trey comes in. Two versus two. Should be able to get the bomb down now, though. Yeah, but will they go for the default plant or the triple plant? If they go for the default plant, which is this, then it's going to be hard for them to defend the bomb in comparison. We've got FaZe rotating uh, Carrigan to CT. Henny so fast, though, taking down Kishima. That is a massive advantage now. They don't know where Bolts is. That's the problem. Bolts on the ramp at the moment. Carrigan's unknown for the time being, but that smoke being deployed cancels out many angles. Bolts, is he going to go for the peak? Oh, he's got to be careful. And he's in a very good angle, not deep, so he can avo avoid the jump peak. And now he's swiping. He's swiping in the smoke. This is going to get close. Karakun's still got a kit, but he needs to find his frag fast. It's ring around the rosies. And he's going to take some more damage, but he's still alive. And it might just be too late for Karakun. I don't think he's going to make it. It's close. There's two seconds. Oh, Denied! Oh, 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 wow. One sec he needed just one more second. Oh my god, Henny in, <laughs> in that spot. It's running around the box. It's fine. I got this, guys. I got this. <laughs> I got this. That was such a snap. That is the very definition of a snap. That is glorious. That's Hen. <laughs> it's like, thank God. That is Henny showing his worth. Putting Face Clan in the Henny Kimura. So, very close uh, scoreline now. Oh. No time to talk, Dan, because Alu has had enough of this nonsense. He gave Henny a swift detention. Now, Immortal, ooh. Okay, guys. So we have a five versus four on our hands. Immortals, they have mid control now, but they, they need to build from it. Ooh, that's good. That is solid. Oh, the trade though is there from Alu. Very timely rotation into that position from Alu. And he's now, the problem for Alu is he has to look in multiple locations with that AWP and it's going to be very difficult to deal with. In comes Phelps, Alu gets it, but still, Lucas takes him down and now it's a two versus two here. But the bomb, it's, it's no one has the bomb yet. Yeah, it's still top mid. Always a huge problem when you get loads of players picked off and then you have to sacrifice map control to rotate and collect that bomb. And uh, with Lucas in lower tunnel, they may end up going towards the B bomb site. Lucas may be venturing over there to see if it is clear. That would make the most sense because the rotation would be huge for Immortals where they go, where they to go back towards A. If they keep quiet, maybe Carrigan will be in for a nasty surprise, but uh, Steel is a bit further back than Lucas is, so I would expect he will start running. There it is. I'm not sure if Carrigan will hear him from that angle. Spotted though. Carrigan gets the kill with the UMP. Lucas misses the spray. That is no time Steel has to charge in. Picks up the AK, but now he's going to have problems. 20 seconds, how does he plant? Karagun hiding behind short, allowing Kiyoshima to do the bait work. The smoke, though. Ooh, smart plays from Steel. Will they spray the right place? Kiyoshima spots him, takes him down. Yeah, I don't know how Karagun wins that one-on-one -on -one there. With the UMP at mid, uh, almost beyond mid-range, 
against the AK. I don't, you're never, you're very rarely winning that one. Ali did huge work. We he can't did. forget that. But that first kill from him as well to to get that jump cleanly onto that table support and scope in time. Double scope, no less. Those are very small windows of time with which to do all those small things and then get into position fast enough to deliver that kill. Awesome. Alu showing his worth for FaZe. So what is the plan here for Immortals? They've got Tech Nines, Nades. It is the the uh, the force buy from them. That is a sad situation. They have been fully reset by FaZe. FaZe could really start to take a lead. They've already got a nice lead, but it could get a lot worse for Immortals here. And they've got a bomb in Palace. Still going to go for the play here now into the B bomb sites. Arrogant. You can see all the counter grenades coming, forced out from the CTs, but they still have uh, Rain in, in the shadow position on A. We should be able to catch the bomb dropping from Palace. And here goes Rain. Oh, the MP9 doesn't quite get the damage done. Although AZ's there in time from CT. The bomb shouldn't be able to go down now. Phelps in a very strong position, taking Carrigan out. Is there a gun to collect though? He hasn't picked one up just yet. Immortal spread out, but Bolts is in an awkward position. So what do they do? Do they capitalize on FaZe trying to reposition? That's the plan. Somehow still doesn't get the headshot. They're so close to the Tech 9, but complete failure. Maybe Phelps can uh, trade things back if Kishima is to overextend again. Bolts heavily relying on his teammates in this situation. Phelps though jumping towards the bricks. There goes the bomb. There goes Phelps as well. Had to pop the window open to get up there. And that will compromise his position. FaZe retain. There's a lot of chaos in that round, though. A lot of kind of micro situations all across the map that could have gone in so many different ways. Kind of crazy when you think about it. But now Immortals, they have to go for a full save. That's going to put FaZe on to 13 rounds. Should FaZe be able to pick this one up? I, I have every confidence in, in that they can. I imagine Rain is probably going to play the shadow position again with the MP9. No, perhaps not. Is he going to go for a push? Ooh, yes. We're going to get a push from the MP9 here. He knows that they're on a full save after that round. So that is why he's being so aggressive. And it does get a lot of information. The MP9 is amazing when you're running around with it as well. Yeah, there's a corner to his right, which is a blind spot. He could just stand in that uh, position. Not very often checked by T sides, but he has made his presence known already. Still checking if he's still there. Trying to deploy a grenade. Cost him some damage. Ali's there for support. Two players of the remaining four spotted by FaZe. There goes Steel as well. Bomb heading towards the A site. Ali putting in work in mid and in A. And numbers running down. There we go. No damage done by Immortals. On to the next one. On to the next, indeed. 13-9 is a pretty rough scoreline to deal with in Immortals' position. Do they have any tricks? Do they have any... Do they have the ace in the hole? Do they have anything up their sleeves? That is the question here. The thing is, again, with Immortals, I feel like they are fairly one-dimensional on their T side of this map, as as I feel also FaZe are. So I don't know what they can go to. They have to show something maybe a little bit new to catch FaZe off guard. Balls gets flashed, though, as the aggressive play comes in from FaZe. But how do they interpret seeing one player there? I don't think they're going to overextend. They saw three towards the A bomb side as Immortals start to make their way up short. Nice deep smoke from Phelps. AZ around triple. No kill just yet, though. There is a lurker towards A. Could smoke triple off if they wanted to, but no real value for them if they haven't planned something in advance. Phelps, I think he's moving towards the uh, short position, and the steel is pretty deep as well. Okay, in the ladder room. Alu in the smoke. In CPR at the moment. This could uh, spin out of control for one of these teams very quickly with certain frags towards mid or B. One minute left. There's one smoke. One solitary smoke on Bolts. Where is it going to go? Bolts is the man by pits. So where are you going to smoke Bolts? There are many options. Many options for you. But when, as soon as that smoke gets deployed, we're going to see the push coming from Immortals. Looks like it's going CT. And uh, that is a good one. There it is. The singular smoke. And now the push commences for Immortals, but straight into Halu. That's not a good start for them. 
jungle and connects it though in control of Immortal. So Alu's gonna have more people, more people coming his way. Kishima trying to help. He's gonna get a kill. Lucas took in the wrong direction. Alu finally goes down. There's Kishima dispatch off as well. Rain though in five boxes. That's a bomb down. 20 seconds for this kill to come in and the bomb to get planted. That's one job done. But Aziz in CT, where do they plant the bomb? No smokes. They can't plant CT. They can't plant for connector either. They need eliminations. AZ just biding his time in toll booth. Manages to escape and take bolts down. Still, the round is lost. Five seconds. And uh, he may die after time as well, which would be even worse. Another round in the bag for FaZe. Damage done to the economy, but it's all good in the hood. They march towards 16. Yeah, and the problem as well for Immortals in that round is that they don't get the bomb down because if they've lost four rounds in a row now, so they lost bonus 20, 2,900 after losing that round. But with, but with a bomb plant, they could actually buy in this round. So, and, and obviously that'd be what they would absolutely do if they had the bomb plant. But now they're kind of restricted to a half buy. They can't really spend all their money, but they could spend a good portion of it. Um, I mean, th there's one way you could approach it where you could just say to yourselves, we're going to gamble by spending a bit more money than usual, maybe instead of going down to $2,000, we go below that, and then make sure that we get the bomb plant and just kind of gamble a little bit, just make that one of the... Uh, well, they need to win the round. Of the round. If they're going to invest more, they need to win the round regardless. Yeah, they, they can't afford to lose anything at this point. It's just so... This is such a hard position to be in. Yeah, they, so they, they actually did that. They actually spent on like a few players. They went sub $2,000 on a few players there, so... See, let's see how they can do with these grenades. Well, they're all gone now. They've all been used. Apart from <laughs> one flash. Oh, they got top mid. Looking for a fast split towards B bomb site. Kishima, though, needs to get traded. Alu with a monstrous third frag. Bomb carried down as well. And Hen won the last player, the only one who was going th towards the apps. He's all that remains for Immortals and for Collected. That, that was, there's opportunity. There's still a minute 20 on the clock. He's got, he's got chances for one versus ones. I like to spray through the woods, but uh, he is asking all of himself. Aim punch comes in, Rain takes the kill and takes phase to match point. It takes, takes him one round away from qualifying for the major. Absolutely, and that was a really nice compensation of the recall there of the spray for uh, Kiyoshima. Very nice indeed. So phase now, the auto sniper is going to come out on Carrigan. It's going to be fun to see that. Love a good auto sniper. Purchase does I. I don't like auto sniper on Mirage. You don't? No. Because I think in most in most situations where you play it towards CT, you're going to get traded more often than you're going to get two kills. That's my opinion. Might be wrong, but that's how I feel about it. I like it. It's fun. Don't you like fun? Not a fan of fun. I guess you're a fan of winning. So that's fair. That is fair. Immortals, have, they have some apartments control going on at the moment. As we can see, just waiting out some of the smoke grenades and so on and so forth from the CTs. And how is Hanny going to come into play with that AWP? Obviously, making sure there's no aggressions. Ooh, Carrigan, though, with the auto sniper, finds a headshot onto Bolts. Bolts are trying to cause distraction, but he goes down immediately. Now FaZe knows what's going on, but they'll still lose the bomb site. Rain, how much damage can he do? Only one for him. There's a real chance here for Immortals. AZ. I have fives to one bullet. Now there's a retake of AZ and the auto sniper onto Carrigan. AZ's done great work, however. Maybe Carrigan can pick up a new weapon if he wants to. Or will he clutch the round with an auto sniper? That would be something beyond disgusting. Doing his best. Creeping onto the site, but Phelps has a lovely angle. Straight in the face. No dice for Carrigan. That would be quite the way to end it, but it's not over just yet. Oh, the auto sniper was collected. It's on. Henny's got the auto sniper now, Jay. <laughs> Henny has the auto sniper. But the thing is that you don't really like the auto sniper in the hands of the T side. Because if you go up against an AWP, you, you have to hit the guy twice until you get the headshot. And he just has to hit you once and you die. So it's, it's even if you're, you have faster timing on the shot and you hit first, you can still lose that engagement. So from that perspective, it's not necessarily favorable to an AWP. So we'll have to see how Henny decides to to show us the best use that he can think of for the auto sniper in this round. Phelps and Lucas making their way towards top mid. Early smoke into CPL. That'll put AZ and Alu in connector. Lucas standing in a smoke. That looks somewhat dangerous. Phelps, they could go for a faster. Uh, oh, 
AZ spraying through the smoke, and there's Lucas just running through the smoke. This is falling apart for Immortals. There's a man advantage for the CT side, but uh, Bolts has the A site. There's a pick off. Got to be careful though. Does not realize that uh, Alu is close already towards CT, avoiding the flashbang as Alu, and that smoke might help him. He can look over it. They might have no idea. He sees both below him. Misses a no scope. Spotted by Steel. Down he goes. Henny taken down in the meantime, but it's Carrigan alone versus two. Carrigan can still do this. He's got time to work with. It's so only one on two. Here he comes from CT. Have they spotted him? Yes. And Bolts takes him down immediately. I wonder how that would have gone had Alu hit that no scope. He needed to pull down slightly, just a little bit more, and he would have had it, I think. But I think he felt pressured because he just saw the other per the other man on the side as well. So he kind of rushed himself a little bit. It's rare that you see Alu be in, in a rushed mood. We'll see whether, though, Immortals can bring it back from the brink. They can get themselves onto overtime because they're not too far away. They're up against an eco now. Winner advances to the major. Loser goes to bed and comes back tomorrow for more games. More pressure. Phase on the, on the defense with a bunch of pistols. Mortals of early possession of mid. Just one Molotov now onto steel. They will seek more frags. Easy on the toll booth. It's a deagle. Nice kill from Karakun. Uh -oh. And now there are problems for Mortals. Not like this, Dan. Hashtag not like this. If Elf goes for a jump into this window, he is surely totally dead. And he knows the guy's there, so you can't. Exp you don't imagine he's going to do it unless already there's there's bullets flying between Carrigan and Henny to distract Carrigan. But Fels just uses the position. He gets traded though, and they're already at a man deficit. An AK, an AK is being collected. A prize has been won, and now Henny's isolated. He's going to have to use grenades to get himself out of top mid. This has fallen, fallen well and truly out of hand for the Immortal side. They are looking They're in a massive disadvantage right now because Henny's still pinned down. Well, he's suggesting that he's made a play elsewhere, taking, not afraid to take risks, though, even with the bomb, but look at Alu's position. And he's running, he's giving the sound cues away, and surely he's going to take it straight in the face, Dan. Not like this, surely. Still the last man standing, takes Carrigan down, but he's got 16 seconds to get the bomb on the other side of the map and or eliminate two players. This is well and truly death by paper cuts, if ever I saw it. Running for his life, running to his doom. 16 to 11, FaZe qualify for the Major. That is quite an impressive feat from FaZe to uh, and I think convincingly across across this matchup